Hello, it's Ma here. Here to tell you about some antics. <laughs> <laughs> but the first order of business is Amy Fritz. You guys, I'm not really an old lady. It's not really Ma, it's me. It's Kristen Hoffman. <laughs> I'm here today with Rosie and we are going to do a spring thrift haul as my dog tramples all over all of our thrift haul. But like I said, today is actually going to be a collaboration with Amy Fritz. I reached out to her and I was so excited when she got back to me to say that she would wanna do a little shout out video. If you guys are not familiar with Amy, I'll show you a little bit about her right here. She has got a beautiful YouTube and Instagram. Her content is a lot of like farmhouse style, cottage style, decorating and organization videos. You guys, you know you love it. I'm sure that many of you already follow her, but her stuff is so great to watch. She's just got such a warm personality and automatically makes you feel like a friend. So I would highly advise you guys, after you're done watching my spring thrifting video, go watch her spring, th go watch her spring, th <laughs> go watch her spring thrifting video as well. And if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Kristen Hoffman. I am a mother of three who loves thrifting, homemaking, and intentional living. And I'm so glad that you guys are here. Y'all, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button. I know that a lot of you guys just must type my name in because my views are always way more than my subscribers. And y'all don't know how much that really helps me if you do hit that subscribe button. So thank you so much for your support. It is our fourth week in a row with sick kids. Rosie has been home. This is her second day with a super high fever. So she's got a little medicine in her right now and she is up and hanging out with me while I do this video. First, I got some really exciting mail this week. Yeah. <laughs> like some great and thoughtful things were delivered to our home. And I wanted to show you guys those really quickly. And then we'll get into the spring thrift haul, which is huge. I may have to split this into two just because some of this stuff I've been kind of like keeping over the winter months to be able to show you. And it kind of turned into a lot. So I'll take you along to some thrift stores with me and then we can go ahead and get started with the haul. A sweet subscriber named Camille actually wrote to me on Instagram in my Ironstone video. She saw that I had the sugar bowl lid but no sugar bowl and so she reached out to me she said that she had the sugar bowl but no lid and that she would love to send it to me you guys when she sent me the package not only did she send me this sweet little sugar bowl to go along with the lid that I had but she also sent me this very large serving platter look at that whoops you can see the bottom the stamp and all of the beautiful stuff around it. So I was just so honored that she would want to send these to me. You guys, what an amazing gift. And now I have these to go along with the rest of my Ironstone collection. So thank you so much, Camille. But that's not all. She actually sent a couple of little gifts. Rosie, you want to show them what she got you? Oh, oh. she got us a little pig. Isn't that so cute? So she said that she lives on a farm where they've like raised pigs and chickens and they've got barn cats and stuff. Yeah. And so she sent us this cute little, I'm guessing that this is a handmade pig. I thought that it was just so adorable. She got this, this little vintage cat. You guys are my people. You guys know exactly the things that I love. And then lastly, she sent us these two cute little chickens. Ivy's been eating and she's had those like on her little food tray all the time, having the little chickens eating her cereal and whatnot. So <laughs> yeah. I just want to say a big thank you. That was seriously going above and beyond. And we are so blessed by you guys always watching. And the fact that you guys care about me, our family, the kids, it seriously is such a blessing. Okay, and the next thing that I got in the mail, which is really exciting, was actually these Christmas lights. This is a company called Only. I know that it's not necessarily Christmas light season, but I have always wanted those like icicle lights to go on our house. And so my thought is that usually when we go into the Christmas season, I am so forgetful. We do everything last minute. And so we just put up whatever lights we already have without going out and getting anything new or doing anything really intentional. Well, I was excited because they sent us these beautiful icicle lights. I'm gonna put them up in the playroom upstairs and I'll show you guys kind of like what we do with these really quick. Okay, so this is how we decided to decorate with our lights from Olney. I'm super excited about this. Ruby is just gonna be coming home soon. We're gonna surprise 
surprise her with it. Rosie was a huge help putting these up. Yeah. These lights, they're an Amazon bestseller. They've been featured on Forbes. They're awesome. You can connect up to three of these different lights together. And I just think that they're so beautiful in this room and they're gonna look awesome at Christmas time too. There are also many different modes that you can use for these lights, like different kinds of sparkling and whatnot. But I think we're just gonna leave them plain. Do you like them plain, Rose, or do you want them to sparkle? I think we should not sparkle. <laughs> I like them plain too. What do you think? Yankee! You like it? It's a surprise for you. Do you think it looks pretty? Do you think you guys would want like a sleepover in here or something? Definitely. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna take you along and we're gonna go thrifting and then we'll be right back and I'll show you the things that I found for our spring thrift haul. All right, well, we're starting out over here with this beautiful, I think it's actually a photograph that I found. It's not quite like a painting, but y'all, it was $14.99, and I just wasn't down to pay that much for this at that point. I did think that this painting was super cute too, and it was only $3.99. If you guys know what these are, let me know in the comments. I should have bought this milk glass lamp. I need something for Ruby's room, but for some reason, I just didn't pick it up. I, I guess I felt like $7.99 was too much, but now if I could go back, I would totally get it. Oh my gosh, I was obsessed with this armoire. It was $30, y'all, but I just, you know, I have no way of transporting it, and I honestly don't even know what I would do with it in our house. I thought this sled was cute too, but I have to draw the line somewhere, people. These cute little clogs my mom would have loved if I had picked these up. This I thought was really cool from far away. It looks like wood, but then when I touched it, it was plastic. And so I'm just not looking to bring more plastic items into our house. So I left it behind. You guys know how much I love pheasants. So of course this picture caught my eye. And of course all things brass catch my eye as well. I thought that this pretty pink chair would have been perfect for the spring video, but y'all know, I just don't decorate with pink. <laughs> I also almost bought this trash can, but decided to leave it behind. This rocking chair I was obsessed with, but I just bought a rocking chair. And so I chose not to get this one either, but it makes me so sad even looking back at this stuff. I hope that these went to families who will love and adore them. The good old bins was on fire this week. I seriously lucked out so much. There was this little jelly cat poodle. I love the jelly cat brand, but there were some like stains on it, so I left it behind. I also really liked this brass lamp. Again, I need a lamp for Ruby's room and for probably Ivy's room, but it was really heavy and at the Goodwill outlets, I just decided to leave it. This bag I carried around for a long time, but you guys, I never carry purses. And if I do, I've got a brown and a black vintage Dooney and Burke. And those are like my go-tos, you guys. I just really don't venture outside of that. These little pins were so precious, and look guys, they're real. So let's go ahead and get started with this thrift haul. Y'all, I just made some coffee. Whew, I need it. We've been making a lot of videos lately, and mama needs her coffee. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my favorite and possibly most used item of our thrift haul, and that is this pretty handmade quilt. Look at that, it's so 
so cute and floral, perfect for springtime. I found this at the Goodwill bins, you guys. And so I've told you before, oh, I'm gonna mess this up, but I cannot remember if our Goodwill bins is a dollar. I think I've been saying it's a dollar 37, but I think it's actually a dollar 27 per pound. These quilts are not exactly like super light, but for a handmade quilt, I bet you that this thing cost maybe $5. It's so funny for being such a feminine quilt. I feel like this has been Josh's favorite quilt. He takes it into his back room all the time. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and this is Josh's blankie. <laughs> He's too old for a blankie. <laughs> Second, I didn't find this thrifting, but I did find this on Marketplace for $15 and it is an antique quilt. And it's just kind of this cream and yellow pattern. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this kind of buttery yellow. Yellow is just not really a color that I use so much, but I do feel like it's good for springtime. So I thought I would give you guys just an up close look at this sweet handmade pattern. I am obsessed with vintage quilts. It's hard for me to see, whoa, dog. <laughs> It's hard for me to see them and not pick them up. And so I thought that $15 was actually a great price for an antique quilt. And so I couldn't help but pick it up. Next, I did find a couple of wreaths, again, at the Goodwill bins. I wouldn't say that these are like goals for wreaths, but you know, they're fine. Sometimes when things are in the bins and they're cute and they're in such great condition and they're light like this, I just pick them up. Honestly, I think I've told you guys that we have so many doors in this house. Yeah, we do. The way that I choose to decorate my house is that even if I find something and it's not like exactly perfectly my style, I'll usually pick it up if it's for super cheap or at the thrift store and I'll just put it in that place until I find something that I really like because I like to have that full lived in kind of layered look to our house. These would be up this year. They may not be the one, same ones that are up next year, but honestly, I thought that these were in pretty good condition. This is just kind of that pretty purple color. I'll probably wind up putting this one on our front door and the clover, is that what you call that? And the clover-ish one on our side door, just to give us that little pop of spring. Okay, I mentioned in my Hutch Decorate video that I've got some planters in here that I bought, but I'm not just, I'm not in love with. I bought them because I had a plant and I needed to put something in it. There's one that's like a faux brass on top of our Hutch. There's another one down here that's just kind of modern looking. You guys, I'm not looking for modern. Literally just this past week, I went to the Goodwill and they had a huge donation of planters. Again, this is where I'm starting out with planters. This may not be like ultimate goals, but I really want to bring in some super earthy textures. You guys know how these like faux stone and everything is really popular right now. Well, I just want to get it like super earthy in here. It's funny because I feel like I'm constantly trapped in this style limbo between I love like Victorian and I also love super primitive. And so I'm looking for stuff that can kind of marry the two. And so I felt like this was a really good option. And now I'm looking around the house. I see I'm going to replace like half of these pots that I currently have. I am just, you guys, there's so much that I want to change around here. It's crazy. And then I found this guy right here. Oh, I should probably be mentioning prices. Let's see what this other one was. This one was $1.99. This one is $5.99, which I thought this one was like a really nice shape and color and texture. I've been super into like salt glaze pizzas and I know that this isn't salt glaze, but I kind of love that like kind of shiny kind of rough look. Third was this one, which I at first I really wasn't sure about it, but the longer I have it, the more I'm like, no, that's cool. I really like this one. I think this one was also, oh, this one was $3.99. I thought that this one was going to be $5.99 too. Truthfully, I just kind of brought these up <laughs> to the counter and I didn't really look too hard at the prices because I was just so excited when I found these to be able to switch out some of mine. This one was also $5.99. It's kind of this pretty like olive green color. So I'm excited to be able to repot some of my house plants and get them in some prettier vessels. Okay, so I found these at the Goodwill and I would have never known what these were a year ago. Apparently I'm the only one. So these are these pretty vintage glass frogs and they were kind of pricey and I kind of expected them to be. I don't know if these are rare or what, but these are always kind of marked pretty high. But this guy was $5.99. It's pretty big though. And what you use these for rows is that you put it at the bottom of a vase and then it holds all of your flowers so that they don't just like fall off to the side. Or, to, or help me, do you put this at the bottom of a vase or do you put the flowers in it first and then you just put it, set it all into the vase? Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> yeah. You guys, I have to tell you that I 
am not an expert in anything. Truly, I am here just to keep you company and for your entertainment. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, why do people even watch me? I don't feel like I have any kind of value that I'm giving to y'all other than just like hanging out and making you laugh and showing you vintage and antique pieces. So I did find this big one. I found this little one and this one was $3.99. But yeah, I'm excited to give these a whirl. Maybe I need to look up a YouTube tutorial on how to actually use them. Rosie agrees, mom needs help. Mom needs help, yeah, she does. <laughs> And next on a similar theme, I did find all of these flowers at the Goodwill bins. So I have mixed feelings about these. I'm not 100% sure if I would even call these spring. Some of the colors in here makes me feel like it's almost fall. But maybe I should just take out the, the fall colored ones. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. And just stay, and just stay with these. It's, that that almost looks more fall to me now. I have no idea. I'm not a huge faux flower person. I really don't have that many, but I thought that these looked fairly realistic. And so, like I said, at the Goodwill bins, this weighs nothing. But I figure maybe if I have some kind of like small area that needs a little bit of life this spring, I can just drop one or two of these flowers in there. But I wish that there was a little bit more green. I think that the leaves are what's kind of throwing me off. I also, you guys, I don't think I've ever showed it to you before, but I actually already have this face and I love this face. It just has that like really pretty vintage look with the kind of wheat stalks up here. I honestly have never found a vase that I like as much as the one that I have. And so I was excited to find this. I think it was $1.99 at Goodwill. And to be honest with you, we've had to like go over to neighbors' houses because I feel like with flowers in this house, it's always feast or famine. We always either have a ton of fresh flowers in the house or else it's a barren wasteland here. Okay, so speaking of faux plants, I did find this air plant and I have mixed feelings about these. Is this still cool or is this too boho for our house? I'm not sure. I kind of got it for Rosie. Rosie loves like decor and plants and all the things I love and Ruby like could literally care less and we love her for it. Yeah, I do have my new bookshelf now, so. Oh yeah, she got a new bookshelf. We found her like this really primitive antique bookshelf that she just put up in her room, so I'll have to show that to you guys at some point. Okay, I also found some of this faux greenery. I showed you guys a couple of areas in my house and my plant tour that I just uploaded this last week, and there are some areas of our house where we've got some faux plants. It's just like what we had, and it's just what I threw in there, and I thought that these were really pretty, pretty realistic looking, so I just picked these up, again, from the Goodwill bins. They weigh like absolutely nothing. They're basically free. And so I'm going to try these out in some of those areas that I have those faux plants that I'm not a huge fan of. And Rosie wants to show you these next items. So there's this one and it's like some flowers, trees, or grass in the background. How much are these? Dude, these were at the Goodwill bins and so they were per pound. Are they heavy? No. Not at all. No. <laughs> and then there's this one with a bird on a tree with berries on it. But you guys, these are actual real paintings. I don't know if you can tell from the sheen. This one you can tell a little bit better, but these are actual real paintings that I found at the Goodwill bins. I was so excited about them and I can't believe that somebody would just throw these away. I Do know. you have an idea of where we should put these? I think you should put some in Ruby's room. In Ruby's room? Don't mind the plastic sack coming out of it, but I did find this waste basket for Ruby. She was saying that she needed something for her room and I thought that this was so cute and feminine. I have no idea how old this would be, but it's what she puts her trash in. And next I do have this tray in our house. We have movie nights every once in a while. And when we do that, I like the girls to each have their own tray. We have two right now that were inherited from my grandma when she passed when I was a little girl that she gave to my mom and my mom gave to me. This one, it looks really similar to the ones that we currently have. They're all floral and vintage like this. Okay, and last but not least, this is one of my favorite things, you guys. It is this pretty picture. So when I first saw this, I thought it might be like a, a fall time print, but the closer I looked at it, the more I realized that it has all of these pretty little pink flowers on the tree. And then it actually must be a really early spring print. I'm like trying to look and see how much I'm showing you guys, but isn't that just gorgeous? So I'm not hundred percent sure where we were going to put this in our house, but you guys know how much 
I love vintage artwork. And so I was really excited to find this. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining us on today's thrift haul. Again, thank you so much to Amy for doing this collaboration with me. I really appreciate it. And I love to see some new faces. So if you guys are new here, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to see me over on Instagram, you can go ahead and follow me over at Kristen K. Hoff. All right, everybody. Well, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.